Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Peter. I'm from thesupportzone.com and the purpose of thesupportzone.com is to offer remote bookkeeping services to small business owners and I also help clients with personal finances and recently I started providing quick and bookkeeping services as well. Like uh, from this year, I have received a couple of my clients who were really in need of managing their personal finance. I helped them so I thought just to offer quick and bookkeeping services to the users who are looking for some help with Quicken. All right. These are my contact information. This is my website. This is my direct contact number. And this is my email address. You can contact me on this email and I will be there to answer or I will be there to help you out with your Quicken or a QuickBooks concern. So with the help of today's title, you can see this video is all about how we are going to add account into Quicken. So we are going to go for adding an account with two ways. First, an offline account. Offline account means we are not going to connect that account online it is going to be completely manually second thing we are going to set up an account with an online connection if i see with the help of that you can easily download the information from the bank's website into quicken all right so in order to do that i mean in order to set up an account let's go ahead and open quicken and uh, once quicken is open so let's quickly go ahead and uh, go here here we have it okay so first we need to go to tools and we need to go to add account under add account at the very bottom there is an option called offline account then you need to choose the type of account Account which you would like to manage as an offline account I would like to manage my personal checking account so that's what I'm going to select here let's say I will name it as Wells Fargo check it is my personal account so I'm going to use it for my personal transactions then I'm gonna click on next okay so it says the ending balance it is you can set it up later on as well but for this purpose or for this video purpose i'm going to set it up so i'm going to set up this account from the last month so we can see on 31st august 2024 i had a balance in my account of thousand dollars okay and then i click on next and this ending balance will going to be an opening balance into quicken i will going to show you in in a quick sec and now you can see the account is added let me click on finish all right so now quicken start to sync this information with quicken cloud within the upcoming videos you would be able to see what quicken cloud is and i will explain how you can sync the information with quicken cloud all right so you can see this account is created and if you were going to click on this you can see it here and now you can see our opening balance is here like as i said your bank statement ending balance is an opening balance of this account okay and let's say you want to add you can say a new transaction for the month of september as it is a manual account let's say on first of september okay i spent some money on clothing so i will say walmart i made some uh, some shopping on walmart and i will name it as shopping it pulled up automatically if you saw that okay that is my category and uh, i will just quickly go ahead and i choose it as uh, shopping it is the main category but i will name it as clothing because i did shopping for some clothing here then i just did that choose that and the amount let's say i spent about $50. I simply purchased some of my basic t-shirts so that I spent for $50 and then I save it like this. You can see here. If you see like uh, the balance is adjusted from $1000. So now the current balance of this account is as of 1st September 2024 that is $950. In the same way you can manage the accounts manually. All right. So now let me go ahead and show you how you can set up an online account into Quicken, which will allow you to download the information directly from your bank into Quicken account. So I'm going to take an example here for PayPal. Okay. So in order to add an account online, go back to tools again, then click on add account and just enter the name of your financial institution or a bank. In my case, I'm going to take PayPal here. Okay. Then I'm going to click on next. All right. Then I'm going to click on continue and then it says getting information from paypal and i will gonna click on sign in here and let's quickly go ahead it will going to check a couple of things okay in order to authorize the user to download the information into quick so here you can see uh like uh, they are still like uh, they are asking me to log into the quicken uh paypal account okay so let me quickly go ahead 
and log into my PayPal. And here we go, login. And I'm just logged in. And they are just want to connect. They just want to take a permission to receive the information and all that. I will say agree and connect. And when I click on agree and connect, you can see your accounts have been authorized successfully. You will now be re redirected back to Quicken. If you're not redirected, so it means our account, or you can say it has been authorized successfully. Now you can see. I am back into Quicken. So here, let's say I'm assuming this is a checking account. Okay. And it is for my personal. Okay. And uh, let's say I'm going to add it here. I will name a, uh, I would like to name it as PayPal into Quicken. Okay. Just give a nickname PayPal and add to Quicken. And uh, that's all I need. And then I click on next. If you can see, it says updating your accounts. But at the same point, look on the left hand side on this on this tab here. You would be able to see the account. We're going to show you here on this left panel. If I say, okay, it is taking some time to add an account into Quicken. And once the account uh, will be there, I will show you how many months of information it pulled up into Quicken as well. Okay, so let's wait for this one to get set up all right if you can see uh, let me click on finish here and it says thinking quicken and quicken cloud again it always do this thing you can also turn this off if you do not want to synchronize the information with quicken cloud right if you can see here uh, on the left hand side another account comes up here that called as paypal and you can see here all are these my account information which they fetched from paypal to quicken account here and they got the information from the month of june till today okay so that's how you can add accounts and afterwards you can set it up and you can check this thing out uh, i mean you can set up the bank accounts into quicken with the online connection all right and uh, in case if you see here uh like uh, it says paypal because i do not have any money in my paypal account at the moment that's why it says uh the ending balance oh uh, sorry the online balance is zero dollars because i do not keep any money into my paypal account uh for the safer site i had some bad experience in the past so that's why so online balance says zero otherwise let's say if i have uh 100 dollars in my paypal account so that will going to show us 100 dollars as an online balance of this account into quicken all right and uh, that's how you can connect online account into quicken and uh, with the help of this video you will be able to understand how you can add and uh, like i hope you understand how you can add a manual account and an online account into Quicken uh, in order to download the information online. All right. So apart from this, within the upcoming videos, you will going to see a lot more about Quicken. If you have any uh, doubts, any help you need uh, related to your Quicken or QuickBooks related to any bookkeeping help, just drop me an email on this email address or call me on this phone number. In case I missed your call, uh, drop me an email. I will respond to it as soon as I can reach you or if I say as soon as I receive it. And this is my website also. You can also drop an email, uh, sorry, drop an inquiry on the website. I will respond to it, uh, respond to it as soon as I receive it from your ad, okay, from the website if I say. And uh, in the description below, I mentioned like, uh, I, I mentioned my services as well, like about Quicken bookkeeping services and QuickBooks bookkeeping services. You can click on the links, you can check it out. If you have any doubts, any questions, as I said, you can contact me and reach me. I will be more than happy to assist you. So that was it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you, have a good one. Bye-bye.